Hello and welcome to the Defense Scope. So, there's a big news going around on social media since yesterday about China and Pakistan. It says that China is going to supply Pakistan with a hypersonic weapon system in the future. There are also a lot of other claims related to this news. So today, we'll talk about which Chinese hypersonic missile Pakistan is likely to get and what the possibilities are. So, the big question is, should we import hypersonic weapons from outside, or should we develop them right here in our own country? Today, we're going to have a really important discussion on this topic. This video is going to be super important. But before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure to like this video and subscribe. Now, one key lesson we've learned from the recent India-Pakistan conflict is this. These high-speed supersonic and hypersonic missiles are super important on the battlefield and offer huge advantages. Our CM-400 AKG missile has practically proven that if you have high-speed missiles, you can penetrate even the world's best air defense systems. Obviously, other components of our Air Force were involved too, but the main role was played by the CM-400 AKG. Because of that, the S-400 threat inside Adampur from the Indian side was. They were posing there, but we neutralized them. The same thing happened with the Indian BrahMos missile. Just like the S-400 air defense system in Adampur couldn't intercept the CM-400 AKG. Similarly, Pakistan also had a tough time intercepting the BrahMos missile. The point is, this missile system, especially high-speed supersonic or even hypersonic missiles, has totally proven its worth on the battlefield these days. We've already proven it and gotten a clear direction on which field we need to progress more in if we want to have a district advantage on the battlefield. Within this proper context, starting tomorrow, there's big news spreading that China might provide the DF-7 hypersonic glide vehicle or hypersonic weapon system to Pakistan in the future. This DF-7 hypersonic weapon system is basically a hypersonic glide vehicle that can reach Mach 20. It can reach speeds about 20 times faster than the speed of sound, which is called hypersonic speed. Plus, this missile has another really important feature. Its hypersonic glide vehicle or missile can maneuver while inside the atmosphere as it heads toward its target. It can change direction and perform evasive maneuvers, making it absolutely impossible for air defense systems to intercept it. There's no air defense system in the world that can do that. There's no defense system that can intercept the Chinese DF-7 hypersonic glide vehicle. And if these hypersonic missiles are fired in a saturated mode, that is, multiple missiles launched at once, the enemy's air defense system, or any target these missiles are aimed at, is almost guaranteed to be destroyed. Overall, it's a highly advanced missile system, a hypersonic weapon, and China's latest versions have some really important and advanced developments with new features. It's included, the accuracy has been greatly improved, which makes it a very deadly weapon system. Now, let's talk about the main topic. Can Pakistan acquire these DF-17 hypersonic missiles from China? The answer is absolutely not. Because right now, Pakistan is developing hypersonic weapon systems and hypersonic technology indigenously. So, there's no need for us to get these weapon systems firsthand from another country. Yes, this. China has really helped us a lot by transferring technology in the hypersonic field. But in the end, the final product will be our own indigenous hypersonic weapon system. We'll manufacture it ourselves, test it ourselves. We're currently developing it on our own timeline, so it will be our own system. Besides, only a country that owns the hypersonic technology indigenously can truly utilize and employ it properly. Let me give you an example of this. I'd say that Pakistan's ballistic missiles, or our cruise missiles like Baba, we could have easily acquired them from any other country if we wanted to. China is our main supplier here. We could have gotten these missile systems from China. But Pakistan developed its own indigenous missile technology and advanced its missile development pace. We developed ballistic missiles indigenously. Our state-owned agency, NDC, is responsible for all our cruise missiles and ballistic missiles. They're made indigenously, we've mastered the technology behind it. The same applies to hypersonic weapon systems. This technology only works really well if Pakistan develops it indigenously. That's exactly what we're working on right now. Not many people publicly know much about this, but Pakistan is currently working on hypersonic missiles and hypersonic technology. And all this work is. It's being done indigenously. We're only getting critical technologies from China. And wherever there's a need, China is providing us with technology transfers. 
So, the chances of Pakistan acquiring DF-7 hypersonic missiles from China are extremely low. Meanwhile, we'll be able to develop such weapon systems ourselves within the coming years. In this situation, there's no point in acquiring these weapon systems from outside, nor will it happen in the future. Priority has always been to have our own indigenous weapon systems. Every country has its own state-owned organizations that develop such niche and critical technologies. It's the same case with hypersonic missiles. Pakistan is independently developing these missiles. So, let's clear up the misunderstanding that we'll be acquiring hypersonic weapons from some other country. Alhamdulillah, we are working on our own hypersonic weapons, which will be revealed in the coming years. Hope everything's clear here. If you have any confusion about this, just...